You're watching Adorama TV. Hi, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV product reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this week we're going to be talking about a product that we all use probably on a daily basis, and that's a card reader. Specifically, we're going to talk about a high speed 3.0, USB 3.0 card reader. And this guy is made by Lexar. This is the Lexar Professional USB 3.0 dual slot card reader and this retails for about fifty dollars now the neat thing is this just pops open here so this collapses and pops open and it has two cards uh, readers in there and so this is designed for uh, UDMA compact flash SDXC and SD 3.0 cards but you can also use this with uh, standard compact flash cards and SD cards and SDHC cards and it also works with both USB 2.0 and USB 3.0. So if you don't have USB 3.0, this card reader will work just fine. Now there's all kinds of uh, things that people wonder about when you're using a card reader. Specifically, it's how fast is it? And so what I did is I just got a couple of laptops and did some really basic tests. So what I did is I took this Lexar Professional, this is a 400X 8 gigabyte UDMA card, and I loaded it to capacity. So I uh, filled this up with a bunch of RAW and JPEG images some uh, in, uh, movie files, and I just loaded it until my camera said it was absolutely full. And so everything that I did was this exact card in this card reader on a couple of computers. And just to compare it with uh, different technology, we also used a Firewire 800 card reader. Now, just for the record, Firewire 800 card readers, you can't buy them anymore. There aren't people making them. So I compared it to, uh, compared it to a technology that isn't even available. Um, so those of you guys who are using Macs out there, you may have been using Firewire 800. Unfortunately, those card readers are in the past, and I'm guessing that's because all the Thunderbolt technology is coming out. But let's talk about the test. Let's talk about how fast this card reader was in comparison to itself, and then in comparison to the Firewire card reader. So we uh, tested this on a Toshiba, and on USB 3.0, uh, this guy clocked in at this, just transferring all the files over. It took 3 minutes and 17 seconds. Now at USB 2.0, on the exact same computer, the exact same card, it was 4 minutes and 36 seconds. So USB 3.0 was 41 seconds faster. So then we just wanted to make sure that we got consistent results. So I put this on a MacBook Pro and the USB 2.0, because Macs don't have USB 3.0, was 4 minutes and 26 seconds. So almost identical speeds to what we saw on a PC. So the USB 2.0 was very, very consistent. So what we wanted to do though is compare that to a high speed Firewire 800 card reader. And so I use this guy here. Again, this isn't even manufactured anymore. So I just put some racing stripes on it to make it look cool. But the Firewire 800 card reader with this exact same card, the same files, the same MacBook Pro, it took two minutes and 31 seconds. So by far the fastest was the Firewire 800 card reader. So the results were really impressive. USB 3.0 is really fast, not as fast as Firewire 800, but if you can't buy a technology, you're going to have to use what is available. So this card reader is really, really fast. And for PC people, it is absolutely the best route to go because it is extremely fast. Again, it was 3 minutes and 17 seconds to transfer 8 gigabytes of data. Now, in the future, when uh, all the Thunderbolt technology catches up and we get new card readers, we'll talk about those, but they're not out yet. So right now, our results show that this Lexar Professional USB 3.0 dual slot card reader for 50 bucks, that's the way to go. It's awesome. We really liked it. It's very durable. I like how this pops up and down, so you can just throw that in the bag. And it comes with the cable, and it has a little blue tag on there to make sure you understand that this works with USB 3 and USB 2 to as well. Well, there you have it. Again, it's the Lexar Professional USB 3.0 dual slot card reader for $50. Well, if you have a question about products and specific products, please send me an email at askmark at adorama.com and we might just answer that email on an upcoming episode right here on Adorama TV. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.